What's going on guys? It's Alex Press here and we're back and it's been a little while and we're gonna bring your weekly fishing report but first off happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Uh, we have a couple you know we have a sale going on this weekend for you guys. A couple items just to mention uh, hats, shoes, boots uh, they're 20% off. We have some coolers on sale. Check our website for full, full details on that and let's get started with the fishing report. Rockfish, good news for all you people out there. The bite has been picking up. It's been pretty much about two or three weeks now with steady fishing out here uh, in the Bay Bridge area, moving south towards Thomas Point and even you know down towards Chesapeake Beach. Uh, main area, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it driving across the Bay Bridge has been the Eastern Shore Bay Bridge pilings. Anywhere from 10 to about 30 foot of water, you will find fish. Uh, you know, just be careful out there guys. I know there's a lot of us fishing in the same area. The whole channel edge on that side is holding fish. You name it, you can chum, you can, you know, jig, live line, white perch. There has been some spot been found, you know, being caught out there. Not too many, but there is some spot out there. So if you catch some of those, you can live line them on the pilings. Be mindful of people where people's lines are if you're out there. If not, just you know, you don't have to be all in the same spot. That whole ledge there is holding fish. Uh, I know a lot of people have been catching them up to 35, 36 inches jigging. Uh, just north of the bridge on that same side there, <clears throat> going towards the um, sewer pipe and just a little bit north. And then also south towards uh, some of the ledges there towards Mattapeak. Uh, same thing down towards Bloody Point if you're jigging, chumming. Pretty much a whole bite's going on everywhere right now. Uh, remember, there's still catfish around, so you will find catfish throughout that area. Uh, as you guys move up north, I haven't heard too many things from north of the bridge, but I'm pretty sure Baltimore Lighthouse, Padickery Point, and Love Point are holding some fish there. Now, if you go towards Thomas Point, I uh, heard some good reports of some fish moving through there. Same thing, jigging, chumming, and even trolling. Trolling, you know, just be mindful of where people are. It's anchor and chumming, or, you know, jigging. So, the bite's been pretty good. Bust some baits, seven inch, natural colors like that are working perfectly. Uh, five inch, a little brighter color. I would recommend having a natural color and a bright color there, just in case, you know, you don't, never know if you're gonna encounter clear water or some stained water. GI jigs, anywhere from half ounce to one ounce, that's what you want to have. Uh, remember, same thing for the heads. Uh, kind of contrast the color with the heads or match them up to what you're throwing out there. Semi new product I mentioned before, this elastics here, seven inch chartreuse. Uh, they're already scented with Procure. That's going to be the ticket for you guys. If you're chumming, live lining, and one thing, soft crabs. I know a lot of people out there uh, don't know about the soft crabs. I know some of you want to eat them instead of using for bait. But how about you buy some to eat and some for bait? Or if you don't catch anything, which hopefully you do catch something, you can, you know, do some for rockfish. <clears throat> Remember, if you're chunking, chumming out there, circle hook six socks uh, are going to be the best bet out there. Anywhere from 18 inches all the way up to 36 inches with your leader. Mono, fluorocarbon, 30 pound to maybe 50 pound at the most. I would recommend staying with the lighter, uh, you know, leader size. Anywhere from 20 to maybe 30. If you're using soft crabs, we got a little uh, spawning net. It's just a little mesh a square where you can actually center the soft crab in there. Put the little piece in there, fold it, uh, twist it, and then just run the hook right through the, uh, the twist part of it. And it will hold your soft crab and you know pretty much will help you you know not go through 20 soft crabs so keep that in mind what else is going on around the area snake heads snake heads everywhere <laughs> as you guys heard there's a lot of fresh water everywhere reports from Severn, Stony Creek, Patapsco are kind of blowing up right now with people catching snake heads in the mid 20s to even some 30s remember there's not a lot don't go crazy there it's not like you're gonna go out there and catch 50 of them they're just starting, maybe in a few years. <laughs> Blackwater bite has been on and off right now. It's post spawn now, fry balls everywhere if you can find the areas where they are. Uh, as soon as you cast in there, top water, you might get some hits. I recommend going with subsurface. And one of my favorite baits, you guys always hear about this, Gambler 
Easy Swimmers on the white color there. This is a four and a half yeah, inch uh, paddle tail there. Put uh, that on a four or five odd uh, swim bait hook with a one sixteenth to one eighth ounce weight on it. And you'll catch some fish over there running through the edges of the grass. Savage Gear Mice. Uh, this thing actually walks the dog. You know, you guys always hear about, you know, walking the dog or six sagging, uh, six sag bait. This is that version of that on a hollow body. So I'm gonna get hung up on a lot of things. And the hook shape is actually pretty good for the size of the snake in its mouth. So that's gonna be one area. Blackwater, Transquaking River, just cover ground. Keyword, cover ground in that area. You don't sit in one spot for too long and you'll catch some snake hits. A lot of snake hits in the you know, mid 20s right now, but there's a few out there in the upper 30s, 10 plus pounders out there. We know they're there. Uh, right now, as of right now, it's pretty much going to be early morning, evening bite. Uh, you know, as soon as uh, the sun starts to go down, those fish are going to start going crazy. Ocean City, uh, offshore fishermen, bluefin, yellowfin, dolphin, you name it, it's pretty hot out there. Anywhere between the Baltimore, uh, now down to the Norfolk, uh, even a little bit inshore, towards the hot dog, you might find some bluefin and a lot of skipjack tuna in the area. Um, you know, all kinds of stuff that so we're working for the Malahu, uh, Green Machines, you name it, it's pretty hot out there. And shore fishermen. Good reports from uh, the inlets in the Back Bay area. I've seen reports of a few guys catching even sheep set right now in the inlet. Uh, crabs are the best bet for that. Uh, gotcha plugs, spec rigs, just normal jigs with paddle tails. You name it, that's going to work for the blues and the uh, rock fish moving through that area and the incoming tides and outgoing tides. Check the tides, that's when you want to be fishing, pretty much moving water. Same thing for the Route 50 Bridge and Flounder. The, as long as you find clear water, you might find some of those Flounder. Four inch gulps uh, and five inch gulp baits are going to be the best bet for that. So, crabbing. Crabbing's actually been pretty steady right now. You're catching maybe a bushel of crabs, maybe a little bit less in this area, in the Annapolis area. Lower Eastern Shore area is going to be where you want to be. Chicken necks, racer clams are going to be the ticket. I would recommend racer clams. They work. Uh, and that's it for your report this week, guys. Make sure you get some for your dad out there. Take them fishing. Come by. I'm going to set you up. And you guys have a good one.